Am I the echo for getting mad at my mom for giving my slice of wedding cake away? Yes. Let's see. I, 32 female, got married last week. Yo, congrats. When the time came for cake, my husband and I shared a small piece because we were busy saying hi to everyone. And honestly, not very hungry after a big reception. The wedding planner was so kind to place some leftovers in our hotel room for my husband and me to enjoy, including two slices of cake. As many guests came from other countries to join us for the celebration, my husband and I decided to show them around. So we gave the leftovers to my mom, asking her to please, please keep them in the fridge. When we returned to my mom's house after driving the guests to the airport, she said, I hope you don't mind. I gave the cake to your sister. Well, I did mind. An a hole. No, just imagine he <laughs> says that. <laughs> just goes off on the mom and the thing. No, it says, I told her that my husband and I had barely tasted it, and I couldn't possibly think of a single reason why anyone would give away someone else's wedding cake. She apologized and told me, I'll buy you a new identical one. But it's just not the same. That cake is gone. To me, it wasn't just some birthday cake, it was our wedding cake. <sighs> My husband and I left to go back to our place. Later that evening, she texted me saying, Forgive me, I'm old and I'm tired. <laughs> I told her it hurt me and please stop doing things without asking. It's getting better, but I'm still mad if I think about it. Am I overreacting? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. no. What? I, I don't think they're overreacting. Um, but I think that for her own sake, she needs to let it go. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. I I would have taken the cake. Like the, the, she chose. She said, "Yo, I'll replace it for you, the mom." Yeah, that's good enough for me. I don't need the. Okay. Cake. Yeah. No, you're not the right person to talk about this. Well, I just eat anything. So. No, I was about to say. I'm telling you that we've had conversations where I no longer want something because it's not special. Mm, yeah. You know, and you, I don't think will ever understand that. I don't think I will. Yeah. I I just I I don't have, I don't have that thing. Like, to me, I'm like, uh, if you didn't give me something then and then want to give it to me after, it doesn't mean it's not special or it doesn't mean anything. It just, you know, it is what it is. I'm happy I'm going to get it anyways. So if, if you got the, if you took away the cake and it was like, well, here, okay, here's another cake. What if your dad passed, like, this watch onto you? Okay. And then I lost it. You lost it, yeah. And then I give you another one. Like, here. Mm, that would suck. It doesn't replace it. <laughs> yeah, that would suck. That would suck a lot. It's the same model. You know what else, though? I would be more than happy if you just said, hey, look, I found your watch that your dad gave you. And I would be like, oh, my God, you did? And you're like, yeah, it was, dude, it was just behind the sofa. And I was like, oh, I'm so stupid. I thought I looked there, to be honest, but I guess not. You would. I would be okay with that. But if you told me straight up I lost it, here, I bought you a new one, I think I'd be like, oh, thank you. But I, I would feel some weird way about it, you know? I wouldn't be so completely happy about it. Okay, well, this is how she feels about it. It kind of sucks, not the but... the same kink. Yeah, yeah, it does suck. But I think, to me, at least when it comes to food, it's not as as crazy. I think the reason why the dad thing hit hard is because my dad doesn't give me anything, you know? like, And especially not something that means anything to him. Like, nothing really means anything to him other than his truck. And, and you already took and, possession and of it. And I already took possession of it. So <laughs> he called it. I already called dibs on it, you know? So he and he was more than happy. He's like, yo, I'll give you I'll give you my truck when I, you know, when I pass to the beyonds. Um so that's pretty cool and I'm looking forward to it. But if he were to have baked me a cake or or food or something, and then my sister ate it, I would be like, whatever. And then he's and if he's like, Oh, just make another one, I'd be like, Cool. I'll take the other one. Does it matter? And just not but that's crazy different. About food. This is your wedding. Your one wedding. Yeah. And it's your wedding cake that you wanted saved. Yeah. Can I say something, though? Go ahead. And I'm going to kind of expose us a little bit. Oh, man. You know. That time again. <laughs> it happens in every episode. I does. And it's always looked bad on me. So. This time I think it looks bad on maybe both of us. Right. Um, but I said for her own sake, she needs to let it go. Mm -hmm. And I think that this weekend was the first time where you kind of told me that. And it kind of pissed me off more. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it makes me like that. No, okay, okay maybe. Okay, but it's because, like, something happened. A small, yeah. insignificant thing happened. And I, it kind of irked me, right? Yeah. And then I told you that it irked me. Yeah. And you're like, let it go. Let some silly thing like this just go. Yeah. And then you walked away. <laughs> and then... <laughs> 
<laughs> smacking everything. I was so <laughs> mad. Like it just like irked me because I'm like, you of all people are telling me this. <laughs> you who you get so angry at the smallest things and then cannot let it go. I get angry at inanimate. Things. Not always. Not I always. Know. I don't know. And That's then you can't hard. let it go. Remember the parking situation? Yeah, but like... And you just couldn't just... let it go. Like, we were having such a good time. Yeah. That happened and you couldn't let it go. Like, everything was ruined. And it was... Like, yeah, because... Uh, oh, that was a hard one. That's a hard one. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, to me, I'm like, it's... It's whatever. It hits me extra hard mm-hmm. when somebody tries to imply something about me that I know is not me. And that... Is um gets me. Yes, heated. but I'm like these are freaking strangers, dude. Girl, I'll 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 body blow to death. That's how you ha- handle it, and you know, either that or I kiss him. I don't know. One way or another, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna figure this out. But my point is, like, sometimes it's really hard to just let it go, it even is hard. though it's something that it's go on your honeymoon. You know, like have fun, have a yeah. good time. I would say, to answer your question, yes, you are overreacting. To go deeper into it, uh yeah i get it something that we kind of have discussed and i don't think everyone shares my view in it but let's say i win five hundred dollars five hundred dollars is it's a significant amount of money it's it's not change that's true and then i lose five hundred dollars gosh dang i don't get upset because i'm like i didn't have it to begin with Mm. so i didn't lose anything yeah other people will get upset and they're yeah. like, dude, I had just gotten $500 and they'll get upset that they lost it. And to me, yeah. I can see it as, well, I can just pretend I didn't even have it to begin with, yeah. you know, because I didn't. So in this case, I don't think they were going to have the wedding cake. The mm. wedding planner grabbed leftovers and the sp- slices of cake and they yeah. were surprised by it and was like, oh, that's so awesome. Now we get yeah. to have cake. That's now you point. again don't have cake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you were also not going to have cake before. Ten times, man. Should've and you just... were okay with that. So be okay now. I think it's just hard because it's you get so excited about something. And then all of a sudden it gets taken away from you. And it's yeah. like, oh. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Talk about here is not that cool. Mom trying to say she's old and tired. Yeah. You asked her to hold your cake and she gave it to your sister. She knew what she did. And I bet it isn't the first time mom gave sister something of yours. Mm-hmm yeah it's reading you into it a what, lot mom? But I don't know. you guys wanted some cake you're like oh the cake was so good i want some more then instead of giving me the replica cake you could have gone out yeah. and gotten a replica cake That's right uh last time coming here that i'm gonna say is not that whole my dad threw away the top of my wedding cake when it hadn't even been a year my sister's wedding cake topper was in the deep freeze for four years i'm still salty about that and my wedding to my husband was in 86 Yo, congrats. That's a long time ago, man. But yeah, that sucks. Whoa. Four years over one year? Mm. Mm. Though, That's a very w- easy way to tell who's the favorite. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't have to happen to you guys. Have you, do you guys also, have anything crazy? why is crazy? that your parents' house? Yeah, actually, what the heck? <laughs> why <laughs> why did what? you leave your wedding they, cake? She doesn't have a fridge for some reason. <laughs> so I got to put it in my parents' house. Uh, yeah, but let us know if that has ever happened to you guys. If you guys have ever overreacted. And if you did, what triggered it? I want to know the little details what happened there. Anybody who's new who's looking at this video for the first time, subscribe, bro. Join us in this crazy neighborhood of ours and uh, you know, just have some fun, silly times with us. Hear some Reddit stories and let's see where the heck this goes. We'll see you in the next one. Laters.